Hey everybody, Mike here at Image Tutorials. Welcome back to a new modeling video. Well guys, today we're going to do something uh, pretty cool, at least I think it is. Uh, we're going to model a Klein bottle, okay? So what's a Klein bottle? Well, stick around and you'll find out that it's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. We're going to start by creating a polygon sphere. We're going to drag that out on the center of a grid. And in our attribute editor, hit Control A to pop that up. We're going to go and set our translate values to zero to make sure that it's absolutely centered. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off a piece of the bottom section. So we're going to move in and we're going to right click, go to face and let's drag select this part right there. Okay. Then we're going to move up a bit to, let's say, somewhere around here. Right click on the face and we'll take that section and we'll delete that. Okay. There we go. So we've got a little hole on the bottom there and we've got this big hole on top. All right. Then we're going to right click. We're going to go to edge and we're going to double click on that top edge and we're going to go to edit mesh and extrude under edge. All right. We're going to go back to the shoe here. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit W and we're going to pull that up and hit R and scale that in. We're going to hit G to repeat, W to pull that up and R to scale in. G to repeat, W to pull up and R to scale in. And from that point, we're going to start to um, rotate the uh, edge somewhat. Okay, so G to repeat, W to pull up, R to scale in, and E to rotate just a bit. Okay, G to repeat, W to pull out, R to scale in just a little and E to rotate some more, G to repeat, W to pull out, and E to rotate, and G to repeat, W to pull out, and E to rotate, G, W, and I'm just going to stop repeating that because we're going to do that all the way around, okay? This time I'm going to scale it in a little bit. GW and E to rotate. R to scale it in a bit. GW Actually, let's uh, rotate this guy some more. Let's rotate that one. GW. And E to rotate. GW. E to rotate, G, W, okay, and now we're going to hit four for wireframe mode so we can kind of see what's going on there. G to repeat, W to pull out. And just rotate that a little bit. G, W, and we're going to go through right there. And we're going to start to rotate back. 
just a little GW and right there we're going to start to scale it out a little and E to rotate somewhat and we'll just move in a little so we can see it a bit better G to repeat W to pull out and we want to kind of end up on top of our opening or at least close to so rotate that a bit and scale it out a bit G to repeat, W to pull out rotate that some more and hit R and scale it a bit GW start to pull that down E to rotate until we're almost level DW to pull that down and let's hit R and scale it out a bit more and rotate that until we are at 90 degrees there we go let's see if there's anything we need to majorly change I'll hit 4 for wireframe mode right click object mode select it and hit 3 to smooth it out okay not bad then we're going to move in and we're going to go to the bottom right click edge and we're going to take that outer edge right there okay and uh, let's see we're going to go to edit mesh extrude under edge R to scale in and W to pull up okay and let's see we're going to hit G to repeat W to pull up until we're pretty close to where we need to be and this is going to be the tricky part okay so we're going to raise that a bit more and hit R and scale that in somewhat and just maybe hit W and kind of move it a little bit now this part is going to be very very tricky and let's see how we're going to approach that okay so we're going to right click we're going to go to vertex and we're going to be very very sure that we only have the vertices that we need we're going to select these two we're going to go to um, let's see edit mesh merge components just hit five to see if that worked out or not Okay, we have a bit of an issue here and the issue is that the normals are facing differently but we'll sort that in a sec I'm just gonna see if we can get this to work it doesn't really want to um, I'm probably I'll try to fix that right now is because okay we're gonna right click go to object mode go to edit mesh and extrude under face and we'll do a thickness of 0 0.02 let's see if that's enough we're gonna hit 4 we're gonna bring that in select our object right click object mode and hit one to make sure that it's not smoothed out then right click vertex and again make sure you only have the vertices that you want and let's try that again merge components not really playing ball here
not exactly sure why. Let's see. Okay, let's try this. So I've got these two vertices. We're going to go to Edit Mesh and let's do Merge Components to Center and see if that works. And that looks like it does. So let's do that and hit G to repeat. Actually, I need to make sure they don't have these selected when I do that. That's better. Okay, hit G. All right, guys, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to work my way around and be back in a sec. All right, guys, so that's all connected. Um, so this is how that turned out. And we're now going to hit three to smooth it out. Well, let's see what we got. So hit three on your keyboard. That doesn't look bad at all. Actually, uh, quite happy with how that turned out. Uh, let's see if there's anything we need to address. We'll see. Okay. So we're going to um, right click on object mode. Come on. Object mode. Make sure it's selected. We're going to switch fuse. We're going to hit W and we're going to raise that up until it's sitting on our grid like so. We are now going to create a ground plane. I'll just hit five for shaded mode so we can see it a bit better. We're going to hit R to scale out and stretch out. Nice and big. We are going to right click at a face, select this face, right click, assign new material. And we're going to do a, uh, a Fong E. And let's make that white. And now we need to experiment a little with our material. OK, I'm going to select my object. Assign new material. Make sure I don't have my ground plane selected. We're going to go with an MIA material X. And we're going to go into the material tab, into presets. And let's start off with glass thick and replace. And just to make it interesting, let's tweak the color a little bit. So we'll start off with the reflective color. Let's see. Um, now we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of red in there. Let's see how that works out for us. Okay, we're going to zoom in. We're going to get a kind of reddish glow at some point, but we'll see. We're going to set up a resolution gate. So we'll make sure we got our object nice and clear in our shot. That would be about right. Okay, we're going to bookmark it. Bookmark, edit, come on, yeah. And I'll just call that new for now. And close. I'm going to create lights, point light, hit W, pull that out, and pull that up. Hit 5 for shaded mode. And it's not going to show up that easily because we defined our uh, glass material. I'm going to hit 7 on my keyboard to activate my light. Let's see where that's at. I'm sorry, I got my ground plane. That wasn't the idea. So this guy is still good. That's my light. That's the guy I wanted to move. Uh, let's pull that up here somewhere. And maybe decrease the intensity a little bit. Let's do 0 0.65 just to calm that down a little. OK, um, let's see. We'll create an ambient light, which is extremely bright. So we're going to push that out here to the back and bring that down to 0 0.1 in its intensity. And we're going to go to view bookmark and new. There we go. We're going to go to our render settings. 
Now, um, we used a mental ray material, so we have to do that in our rendering as well. So we're going to select mental ray as our render engine. In our common tab, we're going to go down to the image size, and I want to use HD 1080 for my image size. Okay, so resolution 72, that's fine. Uh, this is for render passes. We're not going to deal with that right now. We're going to go to our quality, and let's uh, bump that up. And I typically want to do that at about 1.5. Um, ray tracing, I'm going to increase these values a little bit because we're going to have light passing through glass and so forth. So I'm just going to roughly double these values. And we'll do 6. And for these, I'll do 3 and 3. Okay. So we're going to go to indirect lighting. We're going to select caustics and we're going to enable caustics again because we have light passing through glass. Okay. And on, I'm going to select uh, global illumination and I'm going to use image based lighting. So for that, I'm going to need to select a file and we'll do that now. So I'm going to go to my documents, to my Maya folder, to my HDRI images. And like I say in most videos, uh, you can find a lot of these online for free. Just Google for free HDRI image and you will uh, pick up a few like I did. And let's see what I'm going to use for this one. We'll do, um, let's see, I'm going to take this one and give that a try. Okay. So I'm going to do a quick test render and I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, well, definitely some tweaking to do. Um, looked a bit off uh, for a couple of reasons. So first of all, I'm going to go and delete my history. Way too much stuff going on here. So edit, delete by type, history, much better. I'm going to go uh, into object mode, right click object, my MIA material. I'm going to go to presets and I'm going to change that. I'm going to go to glass solid and replace. Okay. Then in my color, let's see, I'm going to take this color and I'm just going to make it slightly darker. Just see how that turns out. Okay. And my ground plane here, it's reflecting a lot of light. Okay. And I have it set up white. So let's bring that into black and hopefully the rest of our light setup will compensate for that. Okay. So I'm going to go to view bookmark new once again, and I'm going to do another test render. See you guys in a sec. All right, guys. Well, this version looks uh, a lot better. Um, the thing is, I kind of want to see the uh, the entry into the bottom of the uh, the bottle, right? And that's not uh, really visible the way we have it set up right now. So what I want to do is I just want to uh, rotate this guy, okay? So I'm going to hit E and I'm going to rotate it over. And let's see if we can. Maybe get that at an interesting angle. We'll do something like this, which will give us a good view of that entry point. And then we'll hit E again, and we'll kind of rotate that upwards. This should give us a fairly nice shot of the bottle. We'll tilt it just a little. That's what I'm going for. Okay. Well, this should be our final render. Uh, once again, I'll pause the video. I'll see you guys when it's done. Well, there you have it. There's our Klein bottle. And uh, I think it turned out okay. So it was kind of tricky, but, uh, you know, we got there. So hopefully this works out for you guys. And if you have any questions, I'll help where I can. Just leave a comment or, you know, check out my Facebook page where a lot of people are hanging out and sharing their work and asking questions and so forth, okay? Well, guys, thanks for watching. As always, really appreciate your support and love to see you guys again. Bye.